A couple of times there is a question from this particular literary movement, Sons of Ben in UGC net examination. What really happens is that they give you four options and they ask you which writer is associated with Sons of Ben. The same question has been asked two to three times in the last 10 years. So it becomes uh, very much important for us to at least know a little detail about Sons of Ben. Alright, so in this video we are going to discuss this important literary movement and we are also going to discuss the points which are important from UGC net perspective. So before beginning this video, if you are one of those students who are preparing for UGC net examination or gate examination in English literature, then you can simply check out our study material from our official website limitlessliterature.com. Check the link in the description below to know more about our study material. Now without any further delay, let's begin this video. So the sons of Ben were actually not the sons of Ben. They were the people who were associated to Ben Johnson in real life. They were the people who tried to imitate the writing style of Ben Johnson. More or less, they were close associate of, close friends of Ben Johnson. As Ben Johnson was a man of letters, so he was so much popular in his time that he has a group of friends. He has large people who know him. Even the reputation of Ben Johnson was more than that of Shakespeare. Yesterday, we, uh, we conclude, we believe that Shakespeare uh, was the greatest dramatist of Elizabethan era. But at that time, Ben Johnson's reputation was quite more than Shakespeare. Ben Johnson was a good friend of Shakespeare. Ben Johnson was a good friend of John Fletcher. He was a good friend of John Donne, who is the who is considered as the head of metaphysical school of poetry. So Ben Johnson influenced many personalities in his time. He influenced the next generation playwrights and which we call sons of men. As I just mentioned that uh, these all these playwrights were closely associated with Ben Johnson. We have Richard Brome, who was the servant of Ben Johnson. Richard Brome used to write, used to learn the skills of writing a good play from Ben Johnson. He was a servant of Ben Johnson. So what happened was that Richard Brome published the work The Love Sick Maid and this particular play The Love Sick Maid got popularity as we compare to the work published by Ben Johnson at that year. So Ben Johnson published The New Inn and in the same year uh, the Richard Brom, the servant of Ben Johnson published The Love Sick Maid and this particular work got much more attention, got much more um, popularity as we compare to Ben Johnson's play The New Inn. It is really an astonishing fact and that is why we put Richard Brom under the category of Sons of Ben. Another example is that there is another person in the list of sons of Ben that is William Cavendish. So this person was a sort of patron to Ben Johnson. He used to fund the money to Ben Johnson. He used to fund for the publication of Ben Johnson's play. Yes, he too used to write a little bit, uh, but we put him under the category of sons of Ben just because he used to have a close association with Ben Johnson. So William Cavendish was a patron and he too used to imitate uh, the writing style of Ben Johnson. Another link is that these 10 to 11 playwrights used to dine with Ben Johnson in a table. Alright, so this is one of the reasons that we put them onto this sons of Ben. Alright, so we have around 10 to 11 playwrights in this Sons of Ben, which includes Richard Brom, William Cavendish, Thomas Naves, Henry Glapthron, Thomas Killigrew, Sir William Davenant, William Cartwright, Marmion, Jasper Mayen, Peter Hosted, and Thomas Randolph. Alright, so these all are the 10 to 11 playwrights that you have to remember. You just have to remember the list of this uh, Sons of Ben. You don't have to go into the details. You don't have to study any work written by all these writers. Simply remember the names associated with this particular literary movement. They only ask which writer is associated with this literary movement. But you have to study Ben Johnson in detail. You have to understand the play, plays written by Ben Johnson, for instance, uh, Epicon, Al Alchemist, Walpon, and Bartholomew Fair. All these plays have already been asked a lot of times in previous year UGC net examination. So you have to read Ben Johnson in detail, but you don't have to read all these playwrights which I have just mentioned in this particular literary moment. Another important point which I have to mention in this video is that uh, just like we have sons of Ben who were uh, influence who were inspired from Ben Johnson. We have another group, we have another literary movement that is Cavalier Poet. 
these cavalier poets were also influenced from Ben Jonson. So we have two literary movements in the English literature which were influenced from Ben Jonson, the Sons of Men and the Cavalier Poets. The common point is that you don't have to read any of the poets or dramatists from these two particular literary movements, the Sons of Ben and Cavalier Poets in detail. Yes, we have to read Robert Herrick who was a Cavalier Poet. We have to read a little about him um, but in the last 10 years or 12 years uh, no work was asked from these list of writers these list of dramatists and poets so simply remember the personalities which were associated with these two uh, literary movements we have other literary groups which were much more important during this time for instance university wits which i have already talked in the previous video and then we have metaphysical school of poetry uh, so the writers from university wits and metaphysical school of poetry are much more important from ugc net perspective if we compare to sons of ben and cavalier poets so this is all what i have to share in this video i hope you found the video worth your time that's it for this video thank you